Hey people, Benjamin Moore just released their 2021 color of the year, Aegean Teal, which is cool, literally. I wanna double down on this color trend and look at some of my personal favorite teal or aquamarine colors. And just to take it a step further, I wanted to venture outside of Benjamin Moore's color catalog and take a look at some Sherwin-Williams, Faro and Ball, Deluxe, and Bear colors. So sit back, chillax, and enjoy our top 10 teals of 2021. If you don't know me by now, I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and here on this channel, we're pretty much obsessed with all things painting and decorating. Sometimes we dabble into some more technical painting related stuff, and a lot of times we take some deep dives on some beautiful paint colors. I've always been really into the cooler side of colors, especially considering of how color trends have developed over the years. Yellowy creams became neutral beige, which in turn evolved into warmer grays, and now, according to Benjamin Moore at least, we're heading into teal territory. And depending on whether you're going with a deep aquamarine versus a perhaps turquoise leaning light gray, that makes the difference between an accent color versus a versatile main color that you can use all over your house. For the most part, the colors on this list will largely be in the accent category. And that just means they're meant to make a statement and stand out rather than blend in with everything else. So unless you're a real go-getter creatively, I would think twice about using any of these colors all over your home. That being said, let's get into it. Number one is Bear Paint's Teal Zeal. Its catchy name coincides with its vibrant energy. It has a 34 LRV, but that doesn't necessarily translate to it feeling dark in any real way. It's a minty turquoise that has some gray to keep it darker, and it's extremely fun, especially when used on a front door. Next up, we have Sherwin-Williams Gulfstream. This one definitely feels a little bit darker than the last, and that's because it is. With this color, it leans a little more towards green rather than blue visually. It has a deep vibrance to it that incorporates really nicely amongst cleaner white accents. Now, if we go back a few years and look at the 2018 color of the year for Sherwin-Williams, it was called Oceanside, and it looks like they were ahead of the curve here because this is a dark teal that strikes a nice balance of blue and green, but it is quite deep with an LRV of only eight. I remember seeing some promotional material on this color when it was first announced, and it was heavily featured as an accent color made for some of your more modern wainscoting and woodwork and on wall units. And that's where this color really seems to shine. Faro and Ball has a really modern looking teal in the color Bardo. Its composition feels delicate and really meshes extremely well with the neutral color palette, perhaps even leaning towards the more pinky and peachy side of gray beiges. It's an excellent choice for a kid's room or even on furniture or cabinets. And because of its interaction with those neutral colors, I could easily see this as an island color in a kitchen that's otherwise painted with pretty neutral colors like Baron Ball's Ammonite or Cornforth White. Now switching things up and looking at a color by Dulux, I wanna look at Jericho Jade. I love this subtle balanced approach to green and blue that feels really soothing to me. Because of its zen-like energy it projects, I could see this working best with muted grayscale decor, almost as if everything was captured in black and white so that your walls could really stand out beautifully. It also makes it an amazing bathroom color because your fixtures will most likely be white. So it kind of works there as well. So we've gone over some fairly dynamic teal-based colors. So how about something that's perhaps a bit more accessible and ultimately lighter? Bear has a color called River's Edge that is an amazing candidate for bathrooms that contain white marble. It has a light feel to it and whether or not it's a good or a bad thing, it may match the color of your toothpaste. Now there's nothing wrong with good oral hygiene, so why not reflect that in your wall color as well? <laughs> Even more so versatile is Bear's Aqua Breeze. It's quite a bit lighter, and because of that, the colorant present within it is less pronounced, and the undertones are more subtle. What you're getting with this color is a bit less of a true teal and more of an airy, slightly grayed out green-blue that will look much more blue in areas that get a lot of bright natural light. It's not quite light enough where I would encourage you to use it on trim, woodwork, and baseboards, as its LRV is just at that breaking point between what I classify as a light color and an off-white. But it will present you with an entirely different aesthetic as some of the other teals that we talked about on this list. So there you go, there's some more variety. Now what if you wanted your aquamarine to look a bit more green? Faro and Ball has a color called Arsenic that they describe as a lively mint green, and I couldn't agree more. 
Some of their source material promoting this color seems to double down on my whole idea using mint or toothpaste greens in bathrooms. But I also particularly love this picture of it being used in a somewhat industrial or constructivist sort of interior design with the exposed piping and the gray doors and trim. It's a wonderful juxtaposition of a bubbly and fun green mixed with very straightforward or almost brutalist cold steel grays. Dulux's Christmas Spruce provides you with a blue leaning gray that incorporates itself extremely well into the winter color palette of silvery cool grays and warmer off-whites. While it's not an identical match to what a blue spruce would look like in person, it definitely feels like a much deeper double down of that balance between green and blue. While if you were able to take a blue spruce pine needle and do a color match on it, it would probably be lighter and dusty enough that you could use it throughout an entire room. But Christmas spruce, the color, is most likely going to be an accent color amongst much lighter, more stereotypical wintry colors. For my last teal color on this list, I wanted to go with something that was at least somewhat comparable to the 2021 Benjamin Moore color of the year, Aegean Teal. This comparable color is quite similar in its visual depth. It feels just about as dark, but it perhaps drops a little bit of its blue in order to feature green a little more prominently. Sherwin-Williams Teal Stencil is one of my favorite teal colors to use. If you watched our previous video on Aegean Teal, the color of the year for Benjamin Moore, you'll know that it's been paired with a lot of warmer colors like yellows and reds. But I find myself using Teal Stencil most often with neutral grayish colors. So if you're still attached to the neutral gray and beige color palette and you're looking for that pop of color that will work extremely well with any beige or off-white that you throw at it, take a look at Teal Stencil as an alternative. And in case you missed it, here's the Benjamin Moore Color of the Year episode we did featuring Aegean Teal, in case you wanted a little bit more information on that color, as well as the 11 other color trend selections for next year. Just out of curiosity, what paint company makes the coolest colors in your opinion? Let us know down below because we're curious. See you on the next one.